Hey everybody, and welcome to this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. So we've reached level four. We've picked up the next main story quest, or main scenario quest. And today we're going to talk about uh, the hunt log and how... You know, how to go about using your hunt log and how it will affect your character and the XP gains and stuff like that. So, from here, if you press the H key, or if you activate your menu and you go over to logs, and you have the hunting log right there, it'll pull this window up. Spoke briefly about how there's all the basic classes that you can start the game with. Um have a hunt log all the additional classes that came out with expansions later do not um, but we're on marauder and you can see we have these list of enemy targets that we have to kill for our hunt log the number of them and if you hover over them it'll shows you the location of where they're at and how much xp you get for each entry in your hunt log if you look here at this wharf rat you will see a little symbol right above the target's name. That means that this enemy is one of the targets in your hunt log that you have not yet engaged. So, Wharf Rat, Middle Linosa, Zephyr Drift, we need three of them for a reward of 800 XP, 180 XP. So we'll just, you know, kill these three. There's also some little ladybugs there, and I'll just go ahead and fast forward through these couple of mobs here. Alright, so we got those two knocked out, and we've got uh, some Aurelia, Bee Cloud, Wild Dodo, and these two are in Lower Linosia. Yeah. So let's hit up the B Cloud. It's over here by Summerford. If you open up your map here, you'll see Summerford Farms right up here, along with our main scenario quest objective. But in this area, we'll find the B Clouds. Alright, so this is a level 6 enemy. We are only level 4, but it shouldn't pose too much of a problem. Alright, so we've killed all of our bees. And we've got one more in this immediate area over closer to Summerford. We also have bogeys on the list right here. The bogeys are right down here in this cave. These are a little bit higher level. But we should be okay. Alright, so we defeated all the bogeys, and we also leveled up to level 5. And you notice at the moment we hit level 5, the Axe and the Stone quest showed up underneath our main scenario quest there. So this is our job quest. So, next time we go back to town, we'll swing by the Marauders Guild, and we'll pick up the next job quest. I'll go ahead and skip over to where the Mandragora are, because they're just a little ways up this road here. So there's our Mandragora and yet another level. So you can see how these hunt logs are really good XP, especially at lower level. We've uh, been able to knock out quite a few of these already. 
and we're already level six. So while we're right here, we're just going to grab this main scenario quest objective. And this Aetherite. As you travel around the world, every time you come across a camp on a map where you see one of these Aetherite crystals, you hover over it, it'll say unattuned. You're going to want to go up to these crystals, right click on them to attune to them. And what it's going to do is it's going to teach you an ability called teleport. And it will allow you to teleport from to any crystal that you have attuned yourself to around the world, making travel a lot easier. So we learned to teleport. We're going to open up our actions and traits by pressing the P button. Or again, you can do it through the main menu on the character screen, uh, under character menu. And you're going to go to general, and there's teleport right there. And then when you click the teleport button, it'll pull up a list of all of the aetherites that you have attuned to. Right now, we only have Limsula Minsa Lower Decks and Middle Linosa Summerford Farms. So we got our first piece of loot reward from turning in this quest. Now, there's a couple ways to access your loot. You can either click here on your inventory, and you'll notice there are no boots there. But this is the quick way to access your inventory. You can open up your character screen by pressing the C button, or going to character, and going to character here. And we got boots, and if you left click on your boots there, it'll pull up the armory chest. And the armory chest is where all of your armor gets stored when you when you receive it via a quest or purchasing it on a market board. Um, it'll automatically go in here where the relevant spot is. So you'll see we have one pair of boots in our armory chest, and we also have a ring in our armory chest. So we'll go ahead and equip the boots. And we have an empty ring spot, so we'll go ahead and equip that ring there. And we'll pick up the next quest. And this one has a weapon reward, which is an upgrade. And you can tell by the little green plus one next to physical damage that it's a slight upgrade from what we're currently using. All right, so the quest objective here is to present yourself to Stalewern for inspection. Now, if you just come up and right click on him, you're not gonna be able to update your quest because you have to equip your head, body, hands, legs, and feet with gear of item level five or greater before you come and speak to him. Now, there's a couple ways you can do it. First way is you can run around, you can grab side quests here that have loot rewards until you've gotten all the loot that you need to upgrade. The other ways, one of which would be you can pick up uh, some stuff off of the market board, which is going to cost something, and you probably don't have enough money to do that now. Or you can hit up a merchant that sells, an NPC merchant that sells armor for low level characters. So what we're going to do is we're going to return, use the return ability to head back to Limsa That's where we're bound. And we're going to hit up one of these NPC armor vendors and see what gear we can afford right now to get us closer to updating that quest. So once you're in Limsa, all of the merchants are in this corridor right near the Aetherite. And if you hover over the little money bags, you'll see that they say shops. And if you come down this way, you know, you've got an independent jeweler. They are going to sell jewelry, tradecraft supplies. They are going to sell supplies that you need to, um, you know, make things like 
uh, cooking materials, um, things you can mine for blacksmithing or armor crafting, ingots. None of that is going to have what we want. Apothecaries, these are potions and materials for to making potions. Battlecraft supplier. So this is one of two merchants that's going to sell gear for us. Since we're a melee disciple of war, we're going to check out disciple of war gear. And we're going to look at purchase gear level 1 through 9. And if you hover over each of these items, you're going to see... In the green writing, Disciple of War, level 5. So this is an item that will upgrade us. And it is 141 gil. So we're going to go ahead and buy that one. And we're currently at 75 gil. The next one is a Hempen Tabard, level 5. It's 140 gil. We don't have enough. But if we right-click on some of these items in our inventory, we can sell them. Still don't have quite enough, so we'll have to go out and do some adventuring to make some money to finish buying some of this gear. Or we can do some quests for money rewards and loot items that fill in some of those spots. Because we did buy a helm, we'll open up our character page, click on the hat. There's the eye patch. We'll go ahead and equip it. You can also right click an item in your armory. And go to equip. So we spent the past t about 33 minutes running around doing just the side quests in town. And we were able to get almost all the pieces that we needed. All I had to do was buy a pair of pants from the Battlecraft supplier. And we have all the gear required by the quest to present ourselves to Stalwin. So, we are going to teleport back to Summerford Farms and update our quest. Alright, so we just got a new weapon. Now, we can, again, open up our inventory and equip it that way, or... On your character screen, right above your weapon, there's a little picture, and if you hover over it, it says recommended gear. When you left click on that, it pulls up everything that you currently have on, and all the stuff in your armory chest that is potentially an upgrade to what you're currently wearing. And all you gotta do is hit the equip button, and it automatically equips it for you. So it's a nice, uh, it's a nice way of just updating your gear real quick as you're leveling up instead of trying to find the item that's an upgrade it comes in pretty handy when you have multiple jobs on one character and you have a couple of different sets of gear filling up your armory chest so that right there was the first time gate or roadblock that you're going to experience in the game and it's really just kind of designed to teach you about gear and equipment um, and getting into quests further than this, you're going to want to make sure that your gear is staying up to date and relevant item level to the quest levels that you're participating. So we'll just grab this next one. And carry on from here. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV as we discussed hunt logs, basic gear upgrades, and inventory use. I hope you join me in the next episode, and as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and share your favorite videos. See you next time, Warriors of Light.